Hello and welcome to episode three, a mystery episode. I don't actually know what's going to happen next. I will <laughs> hand you over to my accomplice in crime, Sergey, who will explain what's going to take place. So, what is librarian's party trick? What is a librarian's party trick? This is this is a clean blog, so I can't say. <laughs> this is a clean video, so I can't say what I would do normally. Um, knowing how to find books. Not quite. So recently I was quite interested because I was talking to one of my colleagues at one of my jobs because obviously living in London we all need about a million jobs just to mm, afford just to, to survive. survive. Um, <laughs> and interestingly she mentioned that not all libraries use the Dewey Decimal System. <gasps> she was a stressing grandma. <laughs> Sorry grandma. <laughs> um, which I was quite interested because actually all of the libraries I've ever worked at have used the Dewey Decimal mm. System and most public libraries use the Dewey Decimal yes. System. Have the libraries you've mainly worked at used the Dewey Decimal System? Most of them have, yes, apart from when I worked at University College when they had their own system of letters and numbers which I found extremely complex to try and use and we need to double check what that is. <laughs> Well, actually, interestingly, I heard like a lot of university institutions use their own systems or create mm. their own systems because I think one of the problems with using the Dewey Decimal System mm. is that particularly if you've got an institution that is a specialist in one area, yeah. all of the books are so specialised, the numbers just get so long mm. it's impossible to sort of categorise things. Yeah. For example, one of my colleagues works at another institution which specialises in dance, drama, performing mm. arts, so they've got their own version of the Dewey Decimal System because if not the numbers are impossibly long mm. for the students to find so that's quite interesting mm. um, but I've heard other universities use Library of Cong Cron I can't speak. <laughs> Library of Congress which yes. I've never even heard of before well I've had heard of mm. but I don't know what it looks like I wouldn't know to see it I've seen it when we order books we get the mark records through the library catalogue records mm. and that will quite often have a Library of Congress subject heading so mm. it'll give you some idea but it doesn't look very... I don't know, maybe it's because I just don't know how it works. I think that is the big thing. I think a lot of times libraries choose to use Dewey, particularly public libraries, because people are familiar with it. Now that is a self-fulfilling prophecy, because if you use it, people become familiar with it, and so on. And certainly they can do a, a simplified version for children, which can make life a lot easier when they're trying to use the mm. library and locate material. So, you see, I was always impressed, especially when we were first courting all those years ago, I was very impressed at your expertise of the Dewey Decimal System and your oh. party trick of knowing what number most books were. Oh my goodness, so today, I'm not liking the way this is going. <laughs> so today we're going to do the Dewey Decimal Challenge. Ah! So, I have eight Dewey, and we might do this again, So, and it might get more challenging. I've picked easier mm. topics for you. So, the first eight are numbers. I'm going mm. to give you the number and I want you to see if you can tell me what the topic is. Oh, crumbs, that's really hard! Oh, so crumbs. <laughs> and then the last two, very challenging, I've got two very specific numbers and I want you to tell me what book is shelved at those numbers. Outrageous! Stop the video now! I don't <laughs> like this at all! However, I, I must admit, because I, uh, Karen is a librarian for... What are you librarian for again? Engineering subjects. Engineering subjects, and in the past for other science subjects. Mm. I may have picked some that I think you might have a good chance of knowing. Phew. Because even I knew them. <laughs> so, anyway, let's get on. Okay. Number Are one. you ready? Mm, not really. Can I have my phone so I can look it up? No, that's cheating. Okay, Go Grandma is adjudicating. She will guard the phone. Grandma guard the phone so that she cannot cheat. So you've got... 10 seconds to think of the answer for That's each. That's not enough time. One. Right, ready? This is easy to start mm. with. The first number, 800. Literature. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what geek. <laughs> not even my subject area. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well that was an easy one to start us mm. off. Yep. Number two, 220. That is aspects of religion, Christianity. That's so close, yes. The, oh. the Bible. The Bible, 
<laughs> That's still pretty impressive. I have to admit, I wouldn't have known that. I think I would have known 800, but yeah. I wouldn't have known that. Mm. Okay. Let's see if you know this one. Oh, gulp. <laughs> 780. That is... It's architecture, I think. No. What uh, is it? What uh, is it? <laughs> give you a clue. I would have definitely known this number. It's music. Of course it's music. Music, yes. I was thinking of... Something else, obviously. <laughs> now this one you definitely should get. So no pressure. 930. That's history. What type of history? It's, I don't know. I know it's the 930s and it's before the 940s, which is the subject area I studied. It's part of history that Grandma was part of. Part of history that Grandma was part of. Early history. Yeah. <laughs> Ancient <laughs> history. Ancient history. Grandma, you've just been insulted by your grandson. <laughs> <laughs> no offence, Grandma. You're in trouble now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer, not my real grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one that I thought you might know. Mm. Not sure, though. 470. We don't have an awful lot of books. They're, 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 they're excuses. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Mm. This is something I'm pretty sure you've studied, so... I haven't a clue what you'd find there. What? Something you studied at school, but I didn't. History, geography, French, Latin, German, maths... You, you said it, but what do you think people... Do you not think people of my age studied history and geography? <laughs> well, you might not have done. You have all these weird newfangled subjects now. Disclaimer, but exactly. I'm joking. <laughs> But what a subject didn't we uh, study? Didn't we share together um, at different times in different schools, actually on different islands, but we won't go into that yet. What didn't we study together? You said it, it's a language. A language. French? Latin. Latin. Yes, of course it is. I don't think, do young people study Latin anymore? If you go to a posh school, you probably do. What are you trying to say? <laughs> You just said I didn't go to a posh school. I wouldn't, I couldn't possibly comment, but if the cap fits. <laughs> Charming. My pleasure. Okay, next number. It's getting more, more challenging now. It's, it's challenging enough already. Dial back. I want something easy. 189. Some form of philosophy. Ooh, good. Good. Very I don't close. know. I can't go any closer than that, but that kind of that, area. That's very good, though. I'm very impressed that you've got philosophy. It's medieval Western philosophy. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Thinking back when I was studying history, yeah. I did occasionally have to penetrate the depths of the 100s. Not very often. <laughs> okay, next number. I'm not sure if you'll know this or not, but mm. I, I found this was interesting. Oh, Grandma's off. Grandma's moving. She's bored with this. She's not yeah. going to guard the phone anymore. <laughs> She's gone. Down her elderly people's stairs. Yeah. <laughs> They're boring. <laughs> okay, um, right, next number. So this this one I just thought was interesting. So mm. 419. And again, it's something to do with language, but I wouldn't know what aspect. Language, yeah. Yeah. You're right, something to do with language. Is it Russian? It isn't Russian, no. I don't You're guessing because of my interest. You're, yes. No, I found this interesting because yeah. it's not a language I thought of, actually. Mm. Esperanto. <laughs> <laughs> is that language? It is. No, 419 is sign languages. How interesting. Yeah, that's what I that thought. That is really clever. Maybe we need to that's, get out more, but I, I thought that's so interesting. One that's of why the I'm best things that. about Dewey is how it has got capacity to expand as knowledge systems and information changes so that's really interesting yeah that is interesting right now this one i would have expected you to get this is tough <laughs> i'm gonna start crying in a minute <laughs> okay this is a longer number now oh crumbs six three six point eight that's cats what <laughs> <laughs> loser alert <laughs> I spent far too much of my time looking for books on cats. I know, I was going to say, now they know what you're doing at work, yeah, and you disappear exactly. among the shelves yeah, for hours, exactly. just looking at books about cats. Never to be seen again. <laughs> not actually doing any work. Well, well I do sometimes. I'm very impressed. <laughs> I didn't know if you would know that or not. That's not something to be proud of. Oh, I, I'm very proud of that one. I'll take that. <laughs> okay, now, so the final two, 
I've lost count of the score. I'll have to rewatch this to see mm, what you've yeah. actually scored. So Obviously the completely perfect. Don't bother rewatching. <laughs> so the final two, mm -hmm. I want the title of the book. What? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, Grandma said yeah. what? <laughs> okay. 6.15.1 R.A.M. No, I don't know. You must know what this is. I have no idea. It's a core textbook and a subject you used to look after. It sounds like it's something to do with pharmacy. And it might be... Oh, I'd have to think about that quite hard. It's to do with pharmacology, I think. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think of the name. I can't think of the name of the author. R-A-N. R-A-N. If she said... A-U-L, it would have been Alton's Pharmacology, but I can't remember Close that one. Was two other people's Pharmacology. Rang and Dale. Woo! Yes, of course! That was. <laughs> number of times you had to try and find that. Exactly. <laughs> Even I knew that number. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the final book. This might be more challenging, mm. but this is... Obviously, you're going to know what the number mm. is. So, 624.2. Right. What subject's that? That's construction. Grandma's licking my leg, it's very tickly. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, did you have to pick right now? It's aspects of construction. Do you have to pick right now to lick my leg? And then she stopped just as the camera goes on. No, there. she's gotten shy. <laughs> Back to the video. Okay, so what did we say, sorry? Um, what was the number again? Regile. Okay, and the number again before Grandma distracted mm, me yes. by licking my leg. Mm. Uh, the number was six. 624.2. 624.2. It's to do with building. 624. Engineering contracts are shelved at 624 on their own. So 624 NEC will be the national engineering contract. I just have You're to. You're just showing off because you don't. So the, the full number is 624.2 mm. BEN. No, I couldn't tell you that. Ah, oh, disappointed. <laughs> If I told you it was something to do with architecture? No, it still wouldn't it's help. the architecture of bridge design. No, it wouldn't. And it's one <laughs> of the core textbooks in some of the modules you teach. <laughs> You're going to have to cut this bit! <laughs> <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Why couldn't you offer me 510.2462 SIN? That's easy, that's engineering mathematics with applications by seeing I could do that one! Now you're just showing off. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, it, I think it tells a lot when the librarian for engineering and science subjects can't get all of those books and yet within a split second gets cats. <laughs> well, exactly! <laughs> what do I actually spend my leisure time doing? <laughs> Anyway, well done. I'm very, very impressed with how much you knew about the Dewey Decimal System. Thank you. Well, at least I knew the main classifications, which you'd kind of hope, having worked in libraries for 30 odd years. Mm, some <laughs> of them, some of them. Next time, mm. more challenging. Oh, I think that was challenging enough. I tell you what, I'll submit the questions to you that you're allowed to ask next time. <laughs> <laughs> and if anybody else has any uh, numbers they'd like to test Karen's m massive uh, library brain on, Leave it in the comments down below. You're very welcome. I hope that you've enjoyed what we've done so far. And do leave a comment if you'd like to, if you found it interesting. <laughs> Go for it. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs>